pickups for Friday. Um, I went to a town wide, believe it or not. I probably went to about like 20 sales at least, maybe 30. And this is all I got. Um, it represents $121 in spending by me. All I saw was junk. Um, even when it came to games, one person advertised for games and they were pricey. So most of the games were there when I was still there. And uh, I don't know. I, let me just go through what I got. Yeah, really. Okay. I went to one sale. Actually, there were two sales with games, but they had like a PS2, and um, and they were charging five dollars a piece for the games, and there weren't any games that were worth five dollars. Then they had like a um, what it was a PSP, and it was twenty bucks, and I almost bought it, but it was missing the back, and the battery was out, and it was all scratched up. And I said, you know what? Screw it. They don't even sell that easy. Um, and then they had some Xbox 360 games where they were $10 a piece, and they were not worth $10 a piece. Anyway, um, what they did have was this SP. I don't know if it works. Uh, I'll have to bring it in and, and charge it up. But if it does work, this is at least $25. I don't know if, if, if this is the brighter screen one. Uh, I'll check that later. And it came in this nice case. Who cares? Um, but what it did come was a Pokemon Ruby version. Hopefully, um, the battery's good on this one. Hmm, I don't see a battery. I don't know if it's a bootleg. Ah, whatever. If it's a bootleg, at least it'll, I know it'll work. Uh, and then I got a Donkey Kong Country. There's probably at least there's probably at least fifty dollars in stuff here. So that was a pretty good deal for me. Uh, Ten dollars, five times my money. The junk they were selling, nobody would buy. This was actually the good deal, and I guess nobody saw it, so they missed it. Um, continuing on with games, I went to another sale. I got a Luigi's Mansion Dark Moon for uh, $10. And I'm not familiar with 3DS games yet. It's like, uh, to come on the secondary market for me, I have no clue if they're holding value or not holding value. But I figured Luigi, Luigi's Mansion should be good. It's over 10 bucks. I did check it with my phone, and it's probably worth like 20 something dollars. So it's a fine deal. I'll, I'll at, hopefully at least double my money on that. Uh, okay. Then for $20, I got uh, what was priced at $26 worth of games. I got a uh, Destroy All Humans, uh, Big Willy Unleashed, and I got a Simpsons game. I have no clue on the value of these particular games, and I didn't feel like checking them out. Um, I figure for 20 bucks, who cares? I I'm not going to lose any money. Torak, uh, Family Guy, Back to the Multiverse, uh, Borderlands 2, and The Walking Dead Survival Instinct. Uh, that might be a fun game to try. Uh, that's it on games. Uh, I uh, let me do jewelry next. I don't even know what I paid for this jewelry. I know for this I paid a dollar, and these are gold, so that was an awesome deal. The earrings were 25 cents a piece. Um, this was probably five bucks, don't know, but there's a silver Buddha. I don't know if you can see it in there, and it's like jade, and that's also silver, the ring. I don't know what we paid for this. I know we paid 50 cents a piece for these cufflinks. Uh, these are Playboy looking cufflinks. Um, we don't really sell cufflinks for too much usually. These are gold tone one. I don't see if this says swank or anything like that. Uh, these are just gold tone with a little stone in it. These are swank. Um, these are just kind of a blue moonstone plastic swank again. Um, these are kind of, uh, I guess they're Roman motif. Uh, I don't see a name on these. Um, I don't think these are silver. Uh, but these are definitely silver. So for 50 cents a piece, that was a good deal. Um, like I said, we don't sell cufflinks for a lot. Uh, maybe 3 to $5. So sterling ones, maybe 8 or 10 Kind of a cute poodle pin. We paid a dollar. Um, crystal necklace. I'm not sure we paid for it, but I don't think we'd sell it for more than eight or ten. This is kind of a cool uh, coin necklace. I don't. It looks like. Nope. It's not an actual coin. So it's just it's just a design. See, because I don't see anything on the back unless the back was put in there. Who knows? It's still kind of cool. People like coin stuff. Um, oh, I didn't even dump this out. Okay. This was a pretty good deal because these are sterling and natural stone. And we basically paid $3 a piece for a pendant. And I'm not going to get rich off of these, but as you can see, there's some nice looking pendants here. I'll probably sell these in the $10 range. Um, here's another one, assorted quartz and like a turquoise color stone. That's a sodalite and amethyst. Uh, again, only $3, and they are set in, in silver. I don't know what that stone's called. Um, we paid, let me just, I'll just show the other ones real quick. <clears throat> They're multi stone, that's Tiger's Eye and a purple stone that's like a turquoise probably dyed coral um, not familiar with that stone this is probably like uh, an agate and more blue crystals and this one's actually not set in sterling uh, but the mount is sterling so uh, if you bought that for like fifty dollars and I said sterling silver you would have been surprised on that one and, and like I said we're only going to sell them for like ten mostly but we did get this really nice multi-stone necklace and let me see if I can show this 
basket that I like. See all the stones and stuff like that. That was only eight bucks. Uh, if I can't get between twenty and thirty for that, I don't know what I'm doing anymore. Okay, um, a couple of CDs. I'm not buying a lot of this uh, today. I'm not rich uh, because I'm buying more than I'm selling. So I bought this stuff. Expendables. I want to see. Those are a dollar. And that's. Uh, let me just finish it up with uh, perfumes and then just glass. As you can see, I paid 50 cents for this polo. This is an easy sell. I'm not sure what I'm going to get for it, but it's polo green vintage. Uh, this is a Jordache Women, a dollar. Not a full bottle. Wish it were. I never had this one before, Sophia. It was two bucks. Roll on the dice. It may be sellable. Uh, nobody may want it. Um, I've had Lavin, uh, or Page, whatever. This is probably like 20 bucks on eBay. And then this is a mostly empty, teeny Chanel, 50 cents whatever I think I'll get a bunch of these and lot them at some point okay let's see finishing up uh, collectibles these are Wade's I don't know if you're familiar with them they were a quarter a piece uh, I have a hard as hell time selling them at the flea market even for a dollar they're supposed to be worth between two or three dollars at least um, I may get a bunch of them and just lot them on eBay these are I just bought these because they were Fenton Bells three bucks a piece they're Campbell soup uh, kids they are different so who knows i don't know what they're worth uh i'll check them out but as fenton bells they should be worth at least i don't know 20 a piece or um nice morano bowl i only paid uh two dollars i don't see any damage this should be worth about 35 at a flea market but i'll probably only get 15. Uh, a nice head vase don't know if you've ever seen these these were very popular about 10 years ago there, this would have been probably worth between twenty and thirty-five dollars. Not so popular anymore, but I kind of bought this as a gift. It was only three dollars. Um, this is a Celadon vase. Uh, that's the color green. It's got this marking on the bottom. I am not familiar with the maker of this. It has kind of a, a weird bird design, kind of an abstract. Um, very hard to see. It's got a lot of crazy in it, which you can probably see in the light. I'm not sure of the age. I'm sure it's not ridiculously old. Um, it was a dollar so and finishing up um, these are these little Venetian uh, glasses they came in sets what is okay that's the weirdest thing oh there's a little rod in there that's it's tinkling and this one no, they all have little rods in there that tinkle isn't that unusual and yeah, look at that okay all right that's enough of that ex excitement Anyway, um, a set like this, uh, this should be worth about like at least five a piece on a glass. And it should be worth at least 30 Probably in a, a better store it might be $50 or something like that. I will get at least 20 for the set. And that's it. I, oh, I only paid $2 for a set, so that was like a pretty sweet deal. That's it. That's all I got today. Uh, I'm going to another town like tomorrow. Hopefully, it'll be better. Uh, I mean, I'm not unhappy with the, the prices I paid today and stuff. But, I mean, to drive around at 30 sales, and, and this is the best I could find. Eh. Anyway, uh, maybe I'll have better luck tomorrow.